Hello, I'd like to introduce you to the TV series line of tandem vibratory rollers from Terex. There are six models in the TV series with drum widths ranging from 31 and a half inches to 55 inches and operating weights from 3,500 pounds to 10,000 pounds. All six models in the TV series offer impressive static linear load and centrifugal force, yet were also designed with operator comfort in mind to provide a simple, reliable, and cost-effective solution to your fleet and rental needs. This is the TV1200, TV for tandem vibratory roller, and 1200 for a drum width of 1200 millimeters or 48 inches. This particular model has an operating weight of 6,382 pounds. All six models in the TV series offer the same standard features that I will be covering on this machine. The TV series rollers are hydrostatically driven and are powered by a variable displacement transmission pump coupled to the engine, driving two variable displacement radial piston drive motors, one in each drum. The hydrostatic drive also provides dynamic braking and the integrated parking brake is spring applied and hydraulically released. The brakes are automatically released when the control lever at the operator station is moved into either the forward or reverse drive position and the brakes are automatically applied when the control lever is returned to the gated neutral position. Both drums offer front and rear scrapers as well as an integrated sprinkler. Note that we use a combination of flexible and steel hydraulic lines to provide protection as well as ease of serviceability. The drive leg bolts are countersunk to minimize damage potential when working in the trenches and lift eyes, tie downs, and tow rings front and rear are also provided. The TV series rollers have a hydrostatically driven vibration system which allows the machine to exert a much greater compaction force onto the ground than just the operating weight of the machine alone. This vibration system uses a fixed displacement gear pump coupled to the engine that drives two fixed displacement gear motors, one in each drum. These motors are used to create vibration by rotating an offset weight at high speeds within the drums. You can select between dual drum vibration or single drum vibration through the use of this selector switch. In dual drum mode, when the vibration function is activated at the control lever in the operator station, both drums will vibrate. In single drum mode, when the vibration function is activated at the control lever in the operator station, only the rear drum will vibrate. This allows the operator to see all four corners of the drum when working on a patch. Steering is accomplished through the use of an articulating chassis and is hydraulically powered using an Orbitrol hydrostatic steering unit connected to a cylinder mounted between the front and rear chassis sections. The heavy duty center joint is extremely robust yet is bolted on for ease of replacement if it becomes accidentally damaged. This articulation joint provides plus or minus 30 degrees of frame articulation and plus or minus 15 degrees of frame oscillation for outstanding maneuverability. The hydraulic hoses are fully enclosed and the steering cylinder is well protected inside the chassis. On the right side of the center joint you'll find the remote lubrication points a remote engine oil drain port, and a locking safety stop to lock out articulation during servicing and transport. The TB1200 is powered by a 30 horsepower Deutz two-cylinder air-cooled diesel engine. The engine cover is lockable and the engine compartment is spacious enough to allow easy access to the engine, the pumps, and the daily maintenance points. The hydraulic oil filler the hydraulic oil level indicator and the hydraulic oil filter indicator. And on this side, the diesel fuel filler, the fuel level indicator and fuel filter, the engine oil filler and engine oil dipstick. This is the battery isolator switch. It's part of the anti-vandalism package and allows you to disconnect the battery when servicing the machine. Also located here is a manual brake release 
which allows the machine to freewheel so that it can be moved or loaded without engine power. But please never activate the manual brake release unless the machine is on level ground and both drums are firmly chocked. Serviceability is a key aspect of the TV series rollers, and in addition to the excellent engine and pump and maintenance access, the closed loop hydraulic system provides easy access to hydraulic test ports, and the electrical system uses simple relays and solenoids with built-in diagnostic LED sensors for quick and easy troubleshooting. The electrical panel is also well sealed behind a steel cover plate to protect against dirt and water ingress. The water tank is located just beneath the operator's seat and provides pressurized water to the sprinklers located at both drums. The variable flow rate is controlled through the use of a rotary dial on the control console at the operator station. Flipping this lever will activate the gravity water feed as a backup if necessary. And the water tank filler cap is located beneath this lockable sliding cover plate. There's a water filter mounted inside the water tank and a secondary water filter mounted in line just prior to the pump. The water tank, the fuel tank, and the hydraulic oil tank are polyurethane encased in steel to eliminate corrosion and minimize condensation buildup. The water tank is also fitted with quick disconnects so that it can be easily removed for cleaning. All TV series rollers come standard with a rollover protective structure or ROPS as you see here. Also available is a folding ROPS as well as an optional sun canopy. Operator comfort is critical on a vibratory roller and on the TV series rollers there are four levels of isolation between the drum and the operator. The fully adjustable operator seat with armrest provides a smooth comfortable ride for the operator and is cushioned and isolated from the chassis and the operator station using heavy rubber mounts. The operator station is also isolated from the chassis and the chassis is isolated from the drums. Self-cleaning steps and convenient handholds are also provided for safe three-point entry to the operator station. The first thing you notice when you climb into the operator seat is the excellent visibility of both drums and the area surrounding the machine. The control console is also designed to maximize visibility as well as operator comfort. All TV series rollers come standard with an anti-vandalism package which includes a lockable control console cover plate which stows in the armrest, a lockable water tank cover, and a lockable engine cover which also protects the hydraulic oil and the fuel tanks. The control console includes a steering wheel with a horn, an emergency stop, a keyed ignition switch, an hour meter, battery charge warning light, engine oil pressure warning light, engine oil temperature warning light, and a variable water pump control valve. Rotate clockwise to increase the water pressure, counterclockwise until it clicks to turn it off, and a circuit breaker. This is the two-speed throttle control. In the forward position, the engine will be at idle. In the rear and locked position, the engine will be at high RPM. To return to the idle position, pull up on the locking knob and move the lever forward. And this is the 6-in-1 control lever that controls most functions of the roller. When parked, the lever should be in the neutral gated position with the brakes on. To move from the neutral gated position, pull the lever to the left and forward for proportional forward travel speed. The control lever is gated at the halfway point beyond which the vibration function is deactivated. Pull the lever back for proportional reverse travel speed Again, the lever is gated at the halfway point beyond which the vibration function is deactivated. To turn the vibration function on, press down on the button at the top of the control lever. And to turn the vibration function off, press on the button a second time. The vibration function will automatically be disabled when the control lever is returned to the neutral gated position. The brakes will automatically be released when the control lever is moved to the forward 
or reverse drive positions and the brakes are automatically applied when the control levers return to the neutral gated position. The TV series tandem vibratory rollers are built tough to handle the rigors of the job and are backed by world-class parts and service support to provide a simple, reliable, and cost-effective solution to your asphalt paving needs. Thank you for your interest in the TV series tandem vibratory rollers from Terex.